Mission BC to the Langley Lopers Old Time Race event, Old Time Drag Race. Only cars older than 1970 can uh, run in the race. They've got different classes by year, body style. Uh, so we're taking the old 49 and uh, we're going to race it. So we got a truckload of gear and uh, some slicks. <coughs> and uh, that's where we're going. So uh, let's go. Hey, good day. We're uh, on the way to Mission. Mission is about a 12 hour drive from our place in Carstairs, Alberta, to Mission, BC, to Mission Raceway Park. Lots of cool stuff going down. We're uh, pitted very close to the uh, timing booth there where you get the time booth. And uh, we're going to run the 49 here. Our class is uh, a couple classes away from running, but we'll probably be running in the next half hour for our first game of the day. Um, that's a cool spot. You get to see some cool stuff come down the road. We're pitted next to a really cool old vet with a, uh, I believe it's a 57 vet with a blown. Uh, big block drag car. You don't see best their drag cars very often. And uh, this 30, 38 Chevy next to it is very cool as well. Uh, in case you haven't figured it out, even though uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a car guy. I, I, I'm sure I've been a Mopar guy my whole life, but uh, you know, these are cool cars. So back to Fargo. If you're following us, it's Fargo Truck TV. We are for sure the only Fargo in competition. Uh, for that matter, I'm relatively certain we're the only Mopar truck in competition. There's no, none of any year running at this event, just us. So, uh, stay tuned. For Dan Ford's Carnage, Dave Taylor. Carstairs, Alberta, that 1949 Fargo pickup truck, TCS side of the racetrack. Gary Cassidy out of Langley over there in his 55 Chevy. Things just don't get much more yellow than that. heavy rig, it's uh, over 3,900 pounds with me in it, and uh, we were hoping for 13 nines, but the air quality has been a little crappier, but very hot, so I, I, I'm pleased with the performance of the truck. Now, in proper fashion, you know, we brought all our gear in the back of the truck, and so now we're having a little tailgate party, and we're going to cook, so, uh, yeah, yeah, good times.
So we're back from Mission BC, where we're racing the old Fargo here, 49. Uh, you saw the clip. Uh, she's running, you know, 14.2s, 14.3s, uh, around 93 miles an hour. Uh, I went three rounds. I read that in the third round. Uh, I don't mind going out on a red light. Uh, a racer once told me when I was first starting to race, and I, I think it's 100% true, is that uh, if you don't red light once in a while, you're not trying hard enough. So, in any case, three rounds. Pretty happy. I'm pretty sure we were both, well, we were for sure the only Mopar truck in competition, which was kind of fun. There was another Fargo there we took some pictures of. There was a 47 uh, with a blower, blowing small block Dodge. Uh, it was a cool little rig. Um, but yeah, we're back. So we're very happy with how the truck performed. We drove it. The mission is uh, a little over a thousand kilometers so uh, each way. So we racked up some miles and had a good time and uh, burned a lot of fossil fuel and uh, now we're back to the rant. And so for the rant for this episode, I'm going to talk about brand loyalty. And I think brand loyalty is, is also a bit of a problem in the hobby. Um, don't get me wrong, obviously I have brand loyalty. I've got, for that matter, like, you know, I've got three Project Fargos. You'd think I'm a Fargo nut, and, but, but even if you broaden it to a, uh, let's say I'm a Dodge guy or a Chrysler guy, a Mopar guy, whatever you want to say. Yeah, I am, but but the reason why I keep my, my hobby cars Mopar is because I'm, I'm pretty deep into that as far as stuff. I have transmissions, engines, heads, differentials, uh, assorted body parts and accessories for um, Mopar products. So for me, it doesn't make any sense economically to build another car. Um, so uh, that said, I was at a brand show, a brand specific show in Calgary this weekend that just passed and um, some really cool cars. I knew some guys were putting on the show and we got talking about, uh, like I've sort of grown a little tired of the muscle car genre as such and I feel that if I was going to have like a collection of cars, if I had a, a budget where I could pick and choose, I would touch on more of the more genres and the iconic cars that fit each genre, like a Model A or a uh, uh, lead sled Ford or a uh, 57 Chevy. Who can argue with a 57 Chevy as being one of the all-time classic hot rod cars? And um, the guy I was talking to was like, did you say you'd buy a, a 57 Chevy? Y yes, yes, I did say I would. He, no one can argue the cool factor of a 57 Chevy. Um, and so for me, it starts to bug me when I, when I hear both, like the only time I ever get defensive of, of my Mopars with like Chevy guys or Ford guys is if, is if they start running it down, you know, I say, oh, too bad it's not a, you know, a C10 or whatever, you know, I was like, dude, it's, it's what it is. And that's the way it is. Um, and, and I hear it the other way too. And then, and I hear my Mopar friends trash talking you know, Chevys or Fords, and it's silly. They're all, they're all just cars, and, so, you know, a cool car is a cool car. There are cool cars in every brand, and there are lame cars in every brand. And, you know, as for brand loyalty, like I say, I think it's overrated, and even into the modern cars, okay? There are quality differences in the vehicles, for sure, in some of them, in some of the models, but all the manufacturers these days are trying pretty hard. I work at a, at a big three dealership, and... Um, all the modern manufacturers, manufacturers, the big three, are trying very hard to have the best stuff because they don't want to be bailed out again. And uh, you know, you, I, I've driven on, driven a lot of new cars. I've worked on a lot of newer cars, and I can tell you this: there's virtually no quality difference between them. It's 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 preference. I mean, sure, each there'll be some models that have problems. Uh, specific problems with specific engines or specific transmissions but that's for all the brands so yeah so brand loyalty hey love your brand you got a brand that you like love it good on you but don't trash anybody else there's just no reason to so until next time uh, have a good one